Okay, back to the West, though. Mm-hmm. This is our last, second and last Western example. What do you think about that? It's a robot Buddhist, a robot Tibetan Buddhist. <laughs> yes, yeah, well, maybe, maybe. <laughs> what makes it Tibetan? I don't know about Tibet. I, I'll, I'll, here's how it's, it's Tibetan because um, the story behind this guy, I don't think he uh, is... Is that there's that there's there was a war between people and robots. This is in the future, mm-hmm. and the and a group of after being persecuted, a group of them went to Nepal and fa- refounded Buddhism basically, mm-hmm. and they have a Dalai Lama figure who gets assassinated, and after and and this guy sort of goes off. He's like, I want to, I don't want to just keep this from people. I want to teach people, and he teaches this ninja called Genji, who's a cyborg thing, um, and 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 I guess and. Yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, so, yeah. This so is... it's sort of an amalgam of a number of different sort of Asian things. I mean, you know, the, the Nepalese or Tibetan Dalai Lama, the ninjas, which are coming from Japan. And now this guy's got pants. You don't find monks with pants, so mm. that's an anomaly. <laughs> but, um, and he's he's doing this kind of typical meditation gesture, which is uh, a little more typical of Hindu meditation. You mm-hmm. don't see that too, those that hand position in Buddhism as much. Um, Aren't those I don't bouting balls? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't I've heard they're, those are bouting balls oh, from yeah, China. Or, or may, yeah, it could be. Or maybe metal soccer balls. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, and any any and is it? I, I, having played the game, he his attacks are orbs. He has an orb of harmony, an orb of discord, or where he heals. So do they? they, sh- do they does he throw these he throws, things? Throws. Yeah, okay, yeah, so he throws. those are weapons. Those yeah. are wep- right, weapons, yeah, quote unquote. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Do, they, so, do they circle around his head? Cir- they're circling around his head. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're circling. So I guess, um, but I guess harmony and discord. That is that fitting of Buddhism. Or is that more of a Taoist thing? Uh, harmony and discord. Well, um, yeah. I mean, I'd say especially in East Asian Buddhism, you have this infusion of Taoism into uh, into Buddhism, and so there is a lot of talk of harmony. Uh, harmony being good, dishar- disharmony being bad. But I don't know if that. Uh, if that's obvious right there. That's I guess a, compared back with this and these two Asian examples and what do you see a do you, do you do you think the Western example is more favorable or do you think these the the, the temple with the monk well, the monk himself is not a robot, but in, in this sort of robotic temple, ancient you robot. You know what what I think's interesting is that it's it, there's not a whole lot of difference between the Asian and the Western depictions in that they're all sort of grabbing from this global grab bag of you know, globalized Buddhism, they're grabbing onto not only traditional Buddhist imagery, but they're also grabbing onto ideas that, you know, might have started in that um, kind of colonial period and might be a kind of exoticization of Asia. But the Asians themselves sometimes have taken that on Mm -hmm. and, you know, sort of used it as a way of, uh, you know, sort of making various things like this more interesting and more uh, you know, to give them a kind of exotic feel too. Any final thoughts on Buddhism and technology? And sort of how, how I guess from these examples, how 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 people are cur- are currently conceptualizing this connection? Well, I mean, I think there's just a per- a perpetual paradox right now about this issue because uh, a lot of people are thinking of Buddhism or particularly mindfulness or meditation techniques as ways to to ameliorate the effects of technology, the negative effects of technology in their lives, and, you know, to get them off their phones and get them off their computers. And yet you see all these, all this Buddhist imagery coming through in computer games, and you see especially a lot of Buddhist meditation apps or Buddhist influence meditation apps that people can tap into on their phones. You know, so uh, I, I think it's becoming not so much an either or, like Buddhism is anti-technology, It'll help you get off your technology. It's more like it'll help you use your technology in a, in a saner way.